Welcome to your weekly general aviation news update. And this week we have three stories for you. The FAA is recruiting pilots for a sun and fun study. We have a new aircraft designed to carry wing turbine blades. That's right, crazy. And then lastly, Boeing is issuing a safety advisory for the 787. Let's get to it. First up, the FAA is asking pilots who hold a current medical certificate and have flown in the last six months to be part of a study at Sun and Fun. Uh, the study session will pay $300 to $500 depending on the class of medical certificate, and the study session take about four hours. Uh, the purpose of the study is to obtain data for computerized tests. Uh, these tests are used to recertify pilots following a medical event like a head injury or stroke. Uh, we'll leave a link down in the description if you're interested. Uh, sounds like something uh, I would like to see the results of, actually. Next up this week is a new design for an airplane that would be long enough to carry wind turbine blades. Wind turbine blades, that's crazy. The company, Radia, out of Colorado, hopes to build the 356-foot-long jet to deliver turbines uh, to remote land-based wind farms. The aircraft, a four-engine jet called the Windrunner, uh, will carry two turbine blades per flight to remote unimproved airstrips near the wind farm fields. The delivery of the blades will allow the wind turbines with the blade up to 320 feet long, 100 feet longer than currently used. To put the cargo volume in perspective, the Windrunner will have seven times the cargo capacity of a C5 Galaxy. Now, if you've ever seen one of those, that's crazy, uh, along with a range of 1,200 miles. Uh, we'll keep you updated with more news about this, but uh, man, I hope you see that flying one day. And last up this week is the Boeing's response to the Latam uh, 787 issue that we discussed last week. Now, if you're not familiar, there was an issue with a, a 787 flight that resulted in a hard pitch down that injured over 50 people. Previously, the cause was unknown, but now it's speculated that a seat switch uh, on the Dreamliner uh, may be to blame. Now, Boeing has issued a safety advisory asking airlines to inspect the switches on their 787 as a precautionary measure, uh, noting that in certain circumstances, the safety cap can jam the button, resulting in unintended seat movement. Uh, according to the Wall Street Journal report on that specific flight, a flight attendant that was serving a meal uh, may have hit the switch uh, by mistake on the back of the seat, uh, pushing the, the pilot into the control of the 787. So uh, currently, there's no official report from New Zealand that has been released, but uh, we'll keep you updated if we hear more. And that's it. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week. No. Ooh. Tastes like chlorine.